From lakes of wind, water, and rivers of shadow, from stalagmite caverns concealed from the sun, from pinfold and spinny fritillary meadow, man voices, beast voices, bird voices are calling, are crying and calling, the battle is won. The sing-songy lark out of heaven is falling, come out of the town ere the summer be done. Poor creature of sorrow, forever desiring, the answer to dreams that were born to deceive. White plumed are the cattle ways you should be sharing with linnets and beetles and emerald edges. The vanishing beauty no charm can retrieve. Slow wanders the runnel through hindering sedges, the pliable sedges that water birds weave. The candle flame crocuses glitter and glimmer, so rigid, so waxen on perishing wicks. And woodpecker masons have started to hammer to make a big piccolo out of the cherry, the delicate mouth is a sport in the rick. While chimneys of pottery, red as a berry, breathe over the roof, the blue spirit of sick. From lakes of wind, water, and rivers of shadow, where flycatchers dart in and out of the sun, from quarry and thicket and rabbity meadow, the clamor increases, unwearied, unsleeping, with news of the rebels already begun. Come away from the hoping, the worry, the weeping, Come out of the town ere the summer be done. Oh, what are those flags so excitedly waving from all the high branches and all the high trees? The spirit of life everlastingly roving, encircling the earth with a rumor of summer, has chosen to honor us, answered the breeze. For him are the flags, and we hail the newcomer who carries the sultriness over the sea. Come away from the darkness, the worry, the weeping. Oh, lover of lanes that are bright with the sun. What balm is in shadow, what solace in hoping, when hope is fulfilled by the swallow returning, the swallow that tells of blue weather begun. June yellows the grass and the heather is burning, come out of the town ere the summer be done. She came as a crocus, a rumor of roses, a flurry of pads where the hedge people run. She advanced on the lawn, her battalions of daisies, her noons were like sultans in silken theatre. But now, over-labored, she packs up the sun. She has struck all the tents of her gorgeous theater. Come out of the town, have a summer be done. Ten hours have gone. Now, at the black eleventh, will nothing save us. No one find a way to ease the burden of this endless day. As once the world's creator blessed the seventh, and hallowed it. Summer must live and die among her flowers, strangely unvisited, walking the hilltop where no pilgrims tread, and she will ask, where is humanity? Angered like beasts without a soul, we pray for vengeance or intolerant of hope, cry down a deluge. We have gone astray. Our path is broken stone. Blinded we grope across the desert of this endless day. Will nothing save us? No one find a way? Away am I to thee, away, Father. Pursue my footsteps through the entangling shadow, and thou wilt come upon my golden meadow, where there is peace, and thou shalt sit with her. A lamp am I to thee that beholdest thee. It is enough if mastering thy pride thou do but kneel and wish me to thy side, and I will come, though hell encompass thee. Yea, thou art agonized among the tombs where once I sorrowed, but my path was sure. Truth was my strength, and faith unaltering flame. If thou wouldst find a path, if thou wouldst see, Away am I to thee, a wayfarer. A lamp am I to thee that beholdeth me. This night it chanced. Pulling my shirt off, lifting from the hanger a dressing gown for walking in the twilight, I paused before the mirror, half afraid to see a live man stripped as for the grave, 
and mused how balloting decay removes yet further clothes, and the last self lays bare. Seeing my body, I remembered love, and how this intricate machine, supported on props of bone and parceled up in skin, for all its brittleness can make new men, on whose fertility the future earth shall count for habitation. Whereupon a musical expression echoed in my head, sweet as the clappered Angelus, a silverly reiterated sound, the dictionary's sole enchanted word, your name. This is the hour we should be meeting, were not a segment of the world between us. Heaven looks dusty and I sit alone watching the zigzag moth. Over my head, a beetle like a medieval knight comes tilting at the air, and all around cool yellow twilight soaks into the earth. Etched on the evening hang the October trees, numbed by this foretaste of eternal sleep. But thoughts in their insistent rush keep me conscious of daytime trouble. We are apart. Apart. That single word explains the gap where peace of mind is wanting. It requires no doctor frowning on my pulse to prove I am the natural member of one body that distance amputates and but a kiss might heal. How sharply blows the wind upon my wound, making me spiritually cold. This half of you wants your completing warmth. I know to call your name aloud would serve only to wake the teasing echo. But if in my brain I shout, perhaps you'll move a hand across the coverlet and turn and sigh, almost wake up, then slip again over the edge of life. Men have affirmed that souls migrate like swallows in their sleep to the warm land where they would be, and hold brief hours of truant parley with their loves, remembered sketchily on waking. Here, in this monastic silence, I can feel your presence like a brushing of the wind. Yet have I flown to meet you in the south. We are apart, yet placelessly together. During these spells of mated loneliness, our minds explore a distant frontier. Grey paths are there and shadow-headed hills that cast a silence on the brooks below. Storks paddle in midstream, red fish flare by, and weeds of leafy stock the lazy water. A land of nobody, a brink of green, a neutral plot abutting on the grave. Consider how that caricature of eagles, that metal pass over the aeroplane, travels the short preliminary grass, raises her limp earth confiscated wheels, soars like ambition through the swallowing clouds with song of thunder and bright chest of steel, then hums to heaven balanced on a star. Our speech is but the grassy taking off, trammeled with language, perishable sound are silent the blue liberty of heaven, free of the stammering earth, communion such as saints enjoy with God, and lovers each with each.